Today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to hang uh, shower curtains. Um, I'll show you guys right now. Uh, we have a shower curtain here. This is a towel and a shower curtain rack. So the uh, shower curtain goes, they ask, you can uh, size it to the size you want it. Oh. If your bathroom is different, it doesn't have these here, it doesn't have these here, then you can always expand it, expand it. You know, but uh, in this case, that's what we have. We'll work with this. And uh, we'll have to put the brackets here and the bracket here. If the shower curtain goes through here. The outside, I'm sorry, this is how the, the shower curtain goes through here. And then there's the inside one that goes through the inside. And it makes like a round, you know, shower. So uh, I'm going to show you guys how we can mount the uh, brackets, which are these right here that are going to go on each side. These are the brackets. Uh, so right here. Okay, so uh, first thing we'll do is we want to get the brackets. They look like this. And we're going to pick, you know, about two and a half inches. Oh, it depends how high you want it. Depends on your shower, uh, what is the way it's designed, how high it is, what height you have. You don't want to put it too high because then the curtain will be hanging off the ground and water will go out to the sides. So you want to make sure you, uh, you do high enough where it's not going to interfere with you or uh, it's gonna, the curtain is going to be long enough. So I'm going to do it about two, two, uh, two inches and a half. And I'm not, I could do this center, but I'm not going to center it because I want this to be the most in it can. You know, I don't want it to be too much out like this. Because then we have a lot of, uh, you know, uh, opening here on the bottom. So I want to see it in the most I can. So I'm going to go right here. I'm going to get the level here. And I'm going to attach this to the level. And level it. So about right there. And then you're gonna grab a pencil and mark the little holes. So there's the little holes right there. Two and a half, about well, two and a half. I want to make sure that's what it is. Yep, that's about right. Okay, now, now we're gonna grab the drill bit, a drill, and we're gonna use uh, these packers that are quarter inch packers here. And the drill bit, I'm gonna start with the small. Uh, this is also a quarter inch drill bit. You can start with the smaller drill bit if you want to pre-drill the hole. But in this case, I'm not. I'm just going to start putting those holes there. See, that's why you want to start with them. So I was, I, I'm going to pre-drill the hole with the smaller drill bit. That's what I did to be able to get that hole. So I used the smaller drill bit. So, so your drill doesn't slide. Okay, so or I use something that. All right, and then we'll change that to the regular tip. You want to have a cup of water, too, or something with water. The drill, the drill bit on there because it gets hot and it can get wore out if you don't do this. It cools it off. As you can see, you can hear it. Goes. I'm hoping there's a two by four in there, and if there is, we don't need to put any tuckers. But if there isn't, then we will have to put tuckers in there. So what are tuckers? These. Okay. So 
So I'm hoping there's... Oh yeah, there's two by four there. Which there should because it's it's a base there. So we don't really need, we don't need any tiger, so we got a lucky break on that one. So now we can just go ahead and put the uh, these on there. Put some screws in there. These are obviously too short, so I'm putting some longer ones. Side of the line, so that's exactly where your uh, your line's gonna be now. So we just mark our spots here. Flash to that, flash to that. That's already level. So about there. That looks about right. Now let's do the hole. Like I showed you guys. So now we got this both of the brackets on. The level, the same height, up and down. Now we're gonna have this. If you just have a regular curve that goes straight across, it's the same process. In this case, my wife got a little bit fancy and uh, she decided to get this kind, which I think are very nice. Now I brought my little helper here, my son, to help me hold this while I put this hold right there, so this can get out of there. And then you got the little pins and this little screw. What you do is you find the holes on here, there's holes and you stick it on through the top. Okay. Okay, once you install this side, you go on this side and do the same thing. Remember the pin has the pin and it has a screw at the bottom. You need to use both of these to tie it because this needs to lock on there. Alright, so you need that becomes in your uh, kit with the installation manual. So you see right there, sinking it down to lock it. I don't know if you can tell to the camera or not, but that's the idea. And tying it, okay? So now once you got this, uh, there's little covers here that cover up this little ugly uh, feature there. And really what you do here is these little uh, screws in there with the L shape, they go right in here. 
and they go last one on top too. Come on, you want to show them here? Okay. So once you have that, what these little pins here do, they tighten it. They go into there. So you want to tie it as much as you can with your hands before you actually get into the uh, and then just do the tightening yourself. Top and bottom. And then uh, those things will stay there. I'm going to tie it up, tie it with my hand for the sake of time and uh, the video. So that's pretty what you do. And then you just tie it both sides. So now we put the, uh, my wife put the shower curtain. Uh, and uh, see, you guys can see the shower curtain stays outside. This is one. For looks, and it keeps you, this keeps you from getting wet so easily instead of being inside the shower. It's actually a good idea, my wife thought about that. This stays inside, you know, where the plastic cover is. And uh, she also folded the towel. There's a towel rack. That's pretty much it, guys. Give it a big thumbs up. Remember, this channel is designed for different kinds of activities, not just one. So you'll never know what I come next, okay? Thanks very much.